Hey guys, it's Mr. B here, and thank you for checking out my PowerPoint tutorial video. I hope you can like, share, and comment. Also, I want to say a big huge thank you to all the subscribers and supporters. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I post them up on my channel. All right, so let's jump right into our dice here. This was in part one, how to make an animated dice. And you can click anywhere to get a uh, random spin. But today we're going to be making this one, a random spin dice that jumps. So you can click anywhere and you get like a random uh, spin plus a jump. So we are going to be adding another animation, not just a spin, but a jump to it. So I'll be teaching you how to do this today so I hope you can follow along so let's escape and we need to put a new slide so let's go to insert so just find insert and then choose new slide and click on that and choose blank so we want a blank slide all right so I want to see the dice so let's just choose format background here and let's just put a uh, like a black solid feel so that we can see our dice all right now let's start making the dice let's choose the shape tool here and uh, just click on that and choose rounded rectangle here so select this uh, tool shape and let's draw a square uh, don't worry too much about the size. We can edit the height and width over here. So let's put 2.5 for height and 2.5 for the width. Awesome. And now um, let's remove the border around this uh, rounded square or rounded rectangle, rounded square. So click here and no outline. All right. So now we want to fill this uh, dice with a gradient uh, fill so head over to the format shape here and click on gradient fill and let's choose radio make sure the type is radio you can play around with whatever type you want and for the direction let's choose the last one here again you can choose whatever direction you want and we have here uh for zero let's choose ye yellow and for 50 here let's choose pink and if you can't find pink just click on a color say like choose red here and uh, choose more color and then just find something that looks pink or to the color that you want and uh, let's see just move it around and uh, I think that's good okay and for the last one position is 100 and the color is purple here all right now that we have our uh, dice filled in, let's click here, the effects here. And we want to scroll down to 3D format. Okay, so scroll down to 3D format or find 3D format. Top bevel and choose the first option here. For the width, we are going to uh, change it to 24. And the height, uh, let's just put um, 14 here. Let's go down to material. And we want to choose um, special effect number three here. And click on lighting. And we want to choose special effects. And let's pick number two. Okay. There you go. Now you have our uh, the background of your dice. Let's move it a little bit here. And let's put the little dots in for the dice. So again, head over the shapes tool. Choose the circle tool here. And let's draw circle and uh, doesn't you don't have to be too perfect here let's change it to 0 0.6 0 0.6 and also let's remove the outline click here and no outline and for shape fill let's just put yellow just like the our first dice all right now that we have that click here and here and right click group and group your shape together here 
And let's open selection pane and give this a name. So find selection pane, open that, find group, the first group here, and call it one. Let's make a copy of this. I'm using a MacBook, Command C, Command V. Ungroup it. And make a copy of the dot in the middle here. And we'll just move this off to the side here. So we're going to make a dice number two. All right, just move it until you're happy. And once you're happy, just click on both of the um, the circles. So click on both of the circles, plus the background here, and right click and go to group and group it again. And let's call this number two, okay? And you want to do the same thing for three. So copy and paste. Right click, go to group and ungroup it. And make a copy of one of the circle here. This will be dice number three, so just move it to the center. Now select the dots plus the square. Right click, group, and group it again. And now we want to call this number three. Let's do the same for number four. So copy paste. Just move it down here for now and ungroup it. And let's make a copy of uh, one of the circles again. And we'll just move it here. And uh, let's move it here. That looks good. Awesome. All right, let's choose all the circles again and the background here and let's group it again. And we'll call this four. All right, let's do the same for number five. Copy and paste and ungroup it. Copy one of the circles and we'll move it to the center. And let's select everything here. Oops, let's select everything and let's group it again. And we'll call this number five. We just have one more to go. So let's create number six, copy and paste. Right click group and then ungroup. And let's copy one of the circles again. And we'll move it off to the side here, like so. And we'll move this one off to the side as well. Super. All right, so now let's select everything, including the square here. Right click group and call this number uh, six. Great. Now, we need to make the buttons that will uh, make our dice spin. So let's choose the tool shape and choose the rectangle tool here. And we'll just draw a, a rectangle, a small rectangle over the, um, the dice here. And let's remove the outline. And here I'm going to click on it and type in one and call it button one. Make a copy of this, copy and paste, move it over the dice here, call it number two and label this button number two. Again, copy and paste. And just move this here. Let's call this three and this, let's call this button number three. And again for number four, five and six. So we want to do the same thing. So copy and paste. Just move it here and uh, let's call this four and this button number four. This is going to be easier for us later when we want to uh, set the animation to uh, the trigger. All right, so this is five and let's call this button number five and we have one more to go. So let's make number six, copy, paste, move it off to the side here. And uh, let's write number six inside here and call this button number six. All right, awesome. And uh, let's just make it a little, uh, change the height a little bit so it covers the dice a little bit more. So select everything and just change the height a little bit more here. And okay, that looks good. And let's grab everything and move it off of the dice, okay? So go ahead and grab everything here and just move it off of the dice. All right, now we can start um, our animation. So let's select all the dice. So select all of them. Head over to shape, 
Format. Click on Align and choose Align Center. Click on Align again and choose Align Middle. All right, now that our dice is aligned center and aligned middle, um, we can start to animate it. So select everything here and choose uh, animation. And then we're going to pick appear. All right, let's do it again. Select everything here. So select everything. And we're going to give it a spin this time. So go to, to this animation and let's give it a spin. All right. Let's do it one more time. And this time we're going to choose the path animation here. And we're going to choose the line animation, this one. It's going down, so we have to change the effect option. So click on the effect option here and choose up. All right, great. Now we can um, edit everything here. So first choose everything and then choose timing with previous. All right, so here we have one to six for the spin animation. Let's change the duration to 0.2 seconds. And for repeat, let's choose three. We want, to, we want it to repeat three times. And for the line animation, one to six. So select everything here. Duration point two. And also for the effect option, we want it to auto reverse. Okay, auto reverse. Now let's click here on one and move it under one two under two oops and click on three put it under three and four under four five and six with six now for the line animation let's move it under one here and two under two un, under number two <laughs> and then three under three and so on so you want to do it just like this video all right now let's put it under a trigger so one the spin and the jump trigger on click and button one you can see that it's under button one now let's do for number two so choose all the number twos choose triggers on click and button number two you can see it it's under button number two now and you want to do the same for three. And click, choose button number three. And you want to do it for four, five, and six, the same thing. On click, trigger number four, button four. And five, on click, button number five. And finally, number six. All right. Hope you guys are still following along at this point. We're almost done. Now we just have to make the dice that we want to show up here and not other dice. We just want that particular dice to appear. So uh, let's open our uh, selection pane again. So here, dice number one. We want that to appear. So dice two, three, four, five, and six, select that. Animation. Exit effect and choose disappear. So we only want dice number one to appear. Now we grab all of this and put it under trigger number one. Timing with previous. All right, let's head back into the selection pane. Click on one, three, four, and five, and then six. Choose exit effect, disappear. We only want number two to appear. So let's write everything here under button two and timing with previous again for button number three or dice number three we want everything else to disappear except for number three so one two four five and six go to exit effect and choose disappear go to animation here and drag this 
under button 3. Okay. Start with previous and 4, button number 4, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. Exit effect, disappear, go into animation and drag this under button number 4. Awesome. All right, timing with previous. And for number five, the same thing. You want number five to appear and everything else to disappear. Okay. Hit exit effect and choose uh, disappear and hit into animation and drag all of that under button number five. And then for timing, make sure you set it to previous. And for the last dice, number six, so we choose one, two, three, four, five, exit effect, disappear, and finally, we will drag this under button number six. Drag all of this under number six here. Start with previous. We're almost there, guys. Hang in there. We're almost there. So let's give it a sound effect. Let's click on, it could be anything, but we'll just choose this one here, the first one, the first um, animation here. And uh, let's choose this one as well. This one, this, this one, and this one. And we want to go to effect option. My sound is already preloaded in here, but you can go to other sound and insert any sound effects you want. But mine is already uh, loaded in here. So I have a dice rolling number two. So I'll choose that one. Again, you can click on the sound and choose whatever sound you want to insert. Make sure it's a dot .wav file though. So now let's select all the buttons here. Move it over the dice. And we're going to uh, go into format shape. Click on text option. And we're going to make the transparency to 100%. Okay, see like this, just drag it until it's 100% and is invisible. Click on shape option and do the same thing. Super. All right, now we have our invisible button. And now we can click play to see what it looks like. All right, let's try it out. Super. Awesome. Now you have created your very own animated jumping dice from scratch in PowerPoint. If you have any questions or concern about this particular PowerPoint tutorial or any other PowerPoint tutorial on my video, don't hesitate to write your question in the comment section below so that I can help you guys. Also, you can write your comments in my Facebook page as well. It's easier for me to uh, explain it to you guys over there. If you enjoy my PowerPoint game tutorial video, please don't forget to like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. Again, Thank you for watching my PowerPoint tutorial video. I wish you guys the best of luck in your classes.